I told ChatGPT to help me write the perfect photography proposal. And you would not believe what this thing wrote. But anyways, before we get into this video, I just want to say AI yeah, is here to stay, to be very honest. And it doesn't matter if you like it or if you don't like it. It's just here to stay. And if you can take advantage of it, then do take advantage of it. People say it's going to take people's jobs. I totally understand, but it's also going to create a lot of jobs. So it's probably going to help the people that know how to use it and people that know the prompt. And today, just want to show you how I got ChatGPT to write the perfect photography proposal. Is it perfect? We'll see. Anyways, the first thing I did, and if you know ChatGPT, you'd know that you have to actually prompt it the right way. Because if I just go in there and say, hey, ChatGPT, write me a photography proposal. It's just going to write like a draft for you. And there's nothing that will come out of that, you know, um, nothing good. It's just going to write like a simple draft for you. You have to prompt it. So the first thing I said was, I want you to help me write the perfect photography work proposal. What do you need from me? So I'm asking ChatGPT what it needs from me to help me write that perfect proposal, right? And he goes, I'm sure I'll be happy to help you craft a photography work proposal. Here's some information I'll need to um, assist you effectively. Now, it's telling me that it needs my personal information. Be careful. AI is coming for you. <laughs> then it also needs client information, project description, deliverables, timeline, um, budget, payment terms, portfolios, references, terms and conditions. This is what it needs from me. So the, the thing I did was that I gave it like some information. I gave it like my name, also gave it like my company name, which is Prince Racing. Then uh, my email, you all know my email. So yeah, just put it there. Then give it a fake phone number. It's fake. Don't call it. <laughs> then I also wrote a little bit about myself that I'm a professional photographer of 12 years who has been an expert in high-end and beauty photography and, you know, wrote a few things about how my images look and all that. Then gave you some fake client information, said um, her name is Jane John and, you know, Nebula Skincare. And what I'm proposing, I also gave you what I'm proposing. I'm proposing a beauty skincare photo shoot um, campaign for their new Nebula Toner don't know what that is that's nothing doesn't exist you know and then for the deliverables i told it that i'll be delivering 15 high and retouched images then also for the timeline i wrote the little thing about like timeline now if you were to do this i would advise that you give it more context because ChatGPT is almost like garbage in garbage out if you go there and you just put in rubbish it's probably going to spill rubbish right back at you so if you need to do this the right way then you need to give it proper context and you'll be able to work with that and then make it better for you. So, and I said, based on the information provided, here's a draft. So he wrote a draft, but I also told it to stop at the timeline because I just didn't want it to write like a full draft for me. And that's one thing that you have to do with ChatGPT. You have to prompt it gradually. You know, you just don't want to prompt everything and just write, like have it write everything. So when you prompt it gradually, what it does is that it writes a more comprehensive and compelling proposal for you. So now it's written a proposal for me, as you guys can see it on screen, you know, which is pretty nice. You know, it broke everything down. Um, I hope this message finds you well. My name is Prince Mason, a professional photographer with 12 years of experience specializing in high-end beauty photography. My work um, is recognized for its clean, high-end aesthetic and natural retouching that truly makes each image unique and impactful. Nice. And then it goes on to propose um, the campaign. Um, then it tells them the objective of the shoot. The objective of the photo shoot is to position your new toner as a professional skincare product. It truly is. Therefore, boosting its reputation in the industry, my aim is to create a powerful visual narrative that communicates not just the quality of the product, but also its essence and what it represents in the market. This is something that somebody who has a brand would want to actually read. I think that, you know, ChatGPT is doing a decent job or a really good job here, you know, breaking this down like this. Then it also writes about the deliverables. You know, that was why I just gave it to write about. Then it writes timeline strategy session was going to be one week and in this session we'll discuss detailed concept style and other specifics of the shoot then it goes on to talk about the photo shoot to a full day photo shoot we conducted at the studio one week following the strategy session then image delivery it writes everything that we need about the image delivery so it now says this draft covers up to the timeline session of your proposal and um, please review it and let me know if there are any changes you'd like to make afterwards we can proceed with the budget payment terms portfolio references and terms and condition so now it's telling you if there are any changes that you need to make it's definitely going to help you make that you just need to point it out now if i was actually doing this for a proper client 
then I would definitely make a few more changes there. Just make it, you know, a little bit more beefy because the honest truth is that this is the part that I'll probably send out to the client first and then the other part will start dripping it, you know, depending on how, you know, interested the client is with the project, right? So, and I'll say, I want you to create budget and payment terms for this project, right? And I says, of course, it's going to help me out. And he asked me um, that I should provide information about the photography rate the editing post-production costs, um, additional expenses, and payment schedule. So I provided those information. I said, you know, the full day brand shoot 3,500 for my talent and gear and blah, 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 blah. Now it breaks that down in the budget. You know, the budget for this project will cover the following. So you can see how ChatGPT is breaking down the budget. It's going to have a full day photo shoot at this price, retouch images at this price. Now, the amazing thing is that it's actually doing the calculations for me. So I just told you this, how much it's going to cost. And it's doing the calculations and saying, this is how much it's going to amount to, you know, at this price, right? Then it does everything. And then, you know, for the payment terms, because I said, I'm going to collect 30% upfront and then I'm um, 70%, um, I think 70% um, do you on or before the day of the shoot. It actually calculates the amount of money for the 30% and for the 70%. I think that's pretty cool, right? Then I says, please review this and let me know if you like any changes made. We can then move forward to uh, including your portfolio references, terms and conditions, right? So I now told you that I wanted to come up with random references that I can use as draft. You guys can pause this and just look at it because it just came up with random references so I can reach out to like clients I've worked with before and say, hey, this is an example of like a reference I want you to provide for me and they can provide that and then I'll use that, you know, I'm moving forward to actually pitch to you know um my clients right okay so after that i now told um chachi there also come up with terms and conditions for this project so he just came up with this like really short terms and conditions for this project and he says sure here are some general terms and conditions you may want to consider please note that you should have these reviewed by a professional a legal professional to ensure that they cover your needs and comply with local ro- um, laws and regulations and i tell you every time you understand a contract out doesn't matter who you write it with have a professional um lawyer or a legal practitioner look at it it's very important okay great so that's about it and then i tell it that it should put everything into one proposal and it did that now the thing about this proposal is as good as it is it is not still perfect and that's just where i'm trying to get at the end of the day you know it's not a perfect proposal in the sense that you need to actually take what chat is doing and then use it to craft a proper proposal that you send out to your clients. For example, if I'm sending out a proposal to my client, because it's the first time I'm actually reaching out to them, I want to see if they'll be interested in working with me. So I'm not going to put payment terms and all that in there. If you do that at first, then your client is probably not going to want to work with you. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, the fact that they're discussing money immediately at first might just, you know, might just sound somehow, you know, I put them off. So if I was going to do this, I'll probably take like the first part of this and just do an introduction where, you know, I'm going to send, you know, the first part of this, I was saying, here's the introduction, here will be the deliverables of this project, here's the timeline. And I'll also attach a portfolio to that, you know, saying, hey, you know, here's my portfolio and this, everything that I feel like this will do for your business, you know, maybe create like a small IMC type plan for them so that they can see exactly what that will do for their business. And after they do that, we can get on the call and then see, you know, if this is something that is going to work. And if that's something that is going to work, then I can move on with like the payment terms and all that stuff, you know, and bring in like the cost of all those things into it. But is this like a great start? And is this something that you can use all through to you get to the point where, you know, you discuss payment terms and even after that? Yes, I absolutely think so. I think this proposal that he wrote is actually like amazing for a base and a start. You have to continue prompting it to get exactly what you want. And then you take everything and arrange it the proper way. Now, if you guys want to see me design like a proposal in Canva, then let me know. That's something I can come up with, like design a proposal plus a portfolio in Canva that you can actually send out to your clients and that will help you get jobs but yeah just wanted to show you guys this real quick um i think chat gp did an amazing job at generating a proposal for you know an amazing proposal for you know photography work but at the same time i believe that you need to take this put it into like um probably like a word document and structure it the perfect way and still prompt it to give you everything that you need anyways thank you so much for watching today's video um if you guys want to see me create 
any other thing around ChatGPT or any other thing around AI, please let me know. I am really enthusiastic about this and we'll see where it's going to go. Maybe it's going to help the world. Maybe it's going to go kaboom. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Check out my digital store because you guys are my sponsors. Thank you so much for sponsoring me and getting stuff from my digital store. There's something coming real soon that's going to be really nice. You guys will enjoy it. Anyways, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll also put a card up here. Get my retouching essentials pack and my skin tone lots and the freebies that are there. Go, go do some shopping. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Give this a thumbs up. Bye-bye.